Hello, welcome to RT Today, where we bring you Middletown High School's announcements for the week ahead, a wrap-up of what happened in the news last week, and more. I'm Gabby Pieclo. Today's show is brought to you by... Shockley Honda, located across from Westview on Route 85. Let's go to Jacob Holcomb with a look back at This Week in History. In This Week in History, on October 11th, 1968, Apollo 7, NASA's first three-man space mission, is launched from Cape Canaveral. That's your look at This Week in History. Now let's hear about this week's birthdays with Baron Rob. A happy birthday this week to Justin Lynch, Jacob Bolton, Malachi Prather, McKinley Chen, Julia Bayard, Marco Givera, Maximo Givera, Carl Geisler, Kayla Hopt, Ethan Shamil, and Natalie Sines. Let's go to Rayana Kincaid with this week's announcements. Early in the morning of October 12th, 1492, a sailor on board the Pinta sighted land, beginning a new era of European exploration and expansion. The next day, the 90 crew members of Columbus's three-ship fleet ventured onto the Bahaman Islands that he named San Salvador, ending a nearly 10-week voyage. The first recorded celebration of Columbus Day in the United States took place on October 12, 1792. The 400th anniversary of the event in 1892 inspired the first official Columbus Day holiday in the United States when President Benjamin Harrison issued a proclamation encouraging the observance of the day. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt designated Columbus Day, then celebrated October 12th, a national holiday in 1934. Since 1971, when Columbus Day was dated the second Monday in October, it has been celebrated as a federal holiday. All juniors and seniors interested in applying for the Science National Honor Society for this school year must complete an online application. Previous members must also complete the online application. For the link and all other questions, contact Ms. Brandt at jane.brandt at fcps.org. The application is due October 13th. Seniors, it's the middle of October. How are your college applications going? Remember, many local universities have November 1st as their application deadline. If you need any letters of recommendations from teachers, or your counselor, you need to ask them no later than October 15th. For the November 1st deadline, if you need help or have questions, ask your counselor. Seniors. Counselors have been holding senior meetings from the start of the year and hope to have all completed by the end of October. If you have not scheduled a senior meeting with your counselor or please make an appointment with him or her, Go to Schoology and look at MHS Counseling Center course for contact information and a calendar link. Attention, juniors and seniors, the following colleges will be conducting virtual visits to MHS soon. Exact dates are Wednesday, October 14th, University of Miami and Capital Technologies University. Thursday, October 15th, Frostburg State University and Salisbury University. Tuesday, October 20th, Hagerstown Community College and Radford University. Wednesday, October 21st, Seton Hill University, Townsend University, and Bridgewater College. Sign up is available to see current seniors and juniors in your Naviance account. Click the Colleges tab on the top right, click Research Colleges, and click College Visits. Yvette Road Financial and Counselor Hood College will be offering a virtual financial, financial aid presentation for Middletown High School students and families on Thursday, October 8th at 7 p.m. This presentation is geared for seniors and juniors who are planning to go to college. Ms. Rod will discuss the free application for federal students' aid and will approve an opportunity to ask questions. Check the counseling 
newsletter in your Schoology counseling folder for the meeting link. Seniors interested in attending the University of Virginia consider the Jefferson Scholarship. The Jefferson Scholarship is intended to cover the entire cost of attendance for four years at UVA. The Jefferson Scholarship is awarded solely on the base of merit to candidates who are nominated by their high schools. Students interested in being nominated for Jefferson Scholarships must contact Ms. Langley no later than Thursday, October 15th. Only one student can be nominated and late applications will not be considered. Seniors applying to the University of Maryland, the early action due date is Sunday, November 1st. This is also the deadline to be considered for financial aid by UMD. Requests to counselors and teachers for letters of recommendation must be submitted by Friday, October 16th. Thanks, Rihanna. Now let's find out what's been happening in the rest of the world. Here's Jack Schmeal. President Donald Trump, who tested positive for COVID-19, has returned to the White House from Walter Reed Hospital, where he was receiving treatment. As of October 7th, 23 people in the White House have tested positive for COVID-19, including First Lady Melania Trump, Senior Trump Advisor Stephen Miller, and Press Secretary Kayla McHenry. On Wednesday, October 8th, the 2020 vice presidential debate between Senator Kamala Harris and Vice President Mike Pence was held in Kingsbury Hall, Salt Lake City, Utah. The debate was seemingly more under control than the first presidential debate on September 29th. Governor Hogan announced that Maryland's COVID-19 positivity rate has dropped to a record low of 2.57%, the state's lowest case rate since July 11th. Also, Maryland's weekly unemployment claims are at their lowest since March 11th. Hogan also announced the return of false wars for local school systems. Each local school system will now have the ability to officially start the intergalactic athletic fall season in secondary schools. Up next, Spencer Moazed tells us what's been happening in the world of arts, entertainment, and celebrity. Coronavirus shaped cakes and cupcakes have been all the rage on the baking side of social media. From home bakers to professional chefs, people can't get enough of the microscopic germ-shaped treats. In Minnesota, the alien restaurant serves such pastries and received backlash from critics who deemed the desserts unbelievably disrespectful. Iconic guitarist Eddie Van Halen was announced dead this past Tuesday at the age of 65. Van Halen's son, Wolfgang, shared that his father had lost his long and arduous battle with cancer. The famed musician will be remembered as one of the most influential guitarists of his generation and band Van Halen for his complex melodies and innovative devices he utilized for his instrument. Actor and singer Megan Trainor announced her pregnancy. On Wednesday, October 7th, Megan Trainor and Daryl Sabara let the world know of their first child during their appearance on the Today Show. Megan Trainor has been waiting for this day since the age of 19. Let's go to sports where Ethan Mulliken catches us up on what's happening on and off the field. After beginning the 2020 NFL regular season, games and practices come to a halt as players from multiple teams test positive for the coronavirus. Week 4 presented the first cases publicly, along with allowing a bye week to give time for teams to readjust as needed. FCPS recently announced that they would stick to their plan to start high school winter sports in February. Winter sports competitions will take place until March 27th, after which fall sports will take place in March through April, with competitions up until May 8th. Spring sports will follow the same pattern, beginning April 26th with competitions for this season ending June 19th. Washington football head coach Ron Rivera said that Wednesday he will be benching quarterback Dwayne Haskins Jr. and that Kyle Allen will be promoted to the starter. Alex Smith will be the backup. Rivera says that, quote, he wants to win now and that Allen and Smith will give Washington a better chance to win as they have better experience in the offensive system under coordinator Scott Turner. Thanks, Ethan. Finally, Aaron Katie shares with us some words of wisdom. How many times have you heard a person say, when I win the lottery, I'll do this or that? Maybe they say, I'll finally be happy, or I'll start a new business. Hoping to win the lottery is not a very wise strategy for happiness and success. Neither is counting on lady luck or looking for ways to make an easy dollar. In fact, someone wise once said, Many an opportunity is lost because a person is lo out looking for four-leaf clovers. Most successful people will tell you that the harder they work, the more luck they seem to have. 
all the secrets for happiness and success don't work unless you do. So, adopt a winning strategy. Make the decision to work hard. You'll enjoy the success more if you do. Make it a great day, or not. The choice is yours.